This is Eric for Tarot Talks. You have questions, I have answers. Be sure you save, share, like, and follow. Comment below. Greetings and salutations, dear one. Today is Now is the Time Tuesday, December 5th. 2023. Today's color is scarlet, which brings you energies of courage, protection, and good fortune. Whether you are joining me for the first time or returning, my name's Eric. I am a beacon of light for you. Focusing on soul wellness and mental health, I warmly welcome you to Tarot Talks. As I shuffle my cards, I received a message. Here is my message. Now is the time to be creative, to unlock the mystery of your own untapped potential. You access the potential by doing things you normally wouldn't do, and then bring that energy into to your creation and decide if it works for you. You behold the light of creation and you are divine by design. Now is the time to organize and prioritize your priorities, responsibilities, and to-dos. Bring in light energy if what you've been doing has not been working. Now is the time to revisit, reevaluate, and reconsider your choices and how you plan on carrying out the tasks to achieve it. You may be seeking answers to your personal life's curiosities and now is the time to ask yourself why you seek these answers to the questions and consider how it adds value to your current experience. Also, reevaluate relationships of convenience and relationships that dance around you that are not genuine. It's time to waltz yourself into a higher frequency that aligns with your soul's symphony. I now invite you to double tap to connect with the deck of answers. And as always, take what serves you and leave what does not. Soul Family and Lineage, Guarded Heart, Guardian Angel. We have some returning cards from yesterday's reading. Welcome back. Soul Family and Lineage, Guarded Heart, Guardian Angel, Guard, Guard. There is some energy of being guarded, mental health, maintenance, twin souls in reverse, courage and valor, self-love. The overall message for this spread for today's reading is telling you to focus on your well-being, focus on your soul, wellness, focus on your heart, focus on filling your own void. You may have also been in a relationship with a person who has not been a part of the relationship. So if you were to tell a friend that you've been in a relationship with someone and that friend says to you, well, you really haven't been in a relationship with that person because that person really hasn't done much for you at all. They haven't even shown up. In reality, you have been in a relationship with the void. You have been in a relationship with the void of something that's been missing, that has been misaligned, and it's time for you to step out of that because what's going on is you're in a relationship with that trauma, that wound, that unhealed aspect of yourself because you are following someone who is not following you. You should be dancing in concierto with someone. You should be dancing in alignment with someone. You should not be following someone hoping that they follow you. You're being guided and you're being directed. You do have an angel that is constantly around you, helping you, assisting you, allowing you to move in that dance a little bit more smoothly and a little bit more melodically so you can enjoy the dance. However, it is time for you to take a time out of the dance and reevaluate your dance steps. Soul family lineage. This means soul, also past life, past experiences, past patterns, past doings. It is time for you to change your pattern. This is a new beginning. This is a new month. You want to end this month with a really, really great experience. So make this rest of the year count by doing something good for yourself and taking care of your well-being. Mental health maintenance connected to guardian angels. So your angels are guiding you. They're helping you maintain your mental health maintenance. You are also probably meditating or working more in the spiritual realm and this is also allowing you to to connect more with yourself. Self-love card again is coming through through mental health maintenance, guarded heart, courage and valor, and you're being called. These are all again connected because your main focus is your wellness. Your main focus is being balanced. There needs to be a balance here. Courage and valor also communicates that you are loved. You are supported. You do have love around you. You do have someone who is there for you, nurturing you. You need to recognize that there is love. Sometimes your love languages don't always connect with each other. We do need to recognize that when love is there, love is there. If you are hurting, if you are not taking care of yourself, if you are focusing on a love that is not giving you the love back, typically cliche to say, but there are three loves in a person's life. This could be one of those loves that is teaching you that valuable lesson in really caring for yourself. We have this guarded heart reminding you, yes, you are behind this fence. Yes, you may have some secrets, some traumas, some wounds. And beyond those doors, 
colors, there is love, there is light, there is choice, and there is value in that choice. And that choice is to be with someone who values you, who loves you, who sees you, who recognizes you. Someone who also chooses to support you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And I mean supporting you by cheering you on, supporting you with your business, supporting you with your endeavors, supporting you. Even if you need a little bit of attention sometimes because you feel a little lonely, you need someone who's also going to be there for you. If you've been waiting to hear from this person, if you've been waiting to connect with a part of yourself, you are being called to do so. We do have Mercury that is also very relevant with us currently, so you need to engage with the energies of Mercury and acknowledge that you are being called. This is your time to acknowledge that you need to swipe and answer the call. You have been waiting for a sign. You have been waiting for something. This is your sign. This is that moment that you've been waiting for. If you've been waiting for one, this is it. You are going to be called. You just need to be patient. Your angels are working on everything that they can for you. You need to be more aware of what your habits are and how you are tending to yourself. If you are repeating patterns, you are not caring for your mental health. So you need to come to terms with whatever it is that you're doing that is not serving you. You need to balance yourself out and do good for yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to learn more about yourself. You need to do the work. You need to do the deep work if you are not doing that because you have your heart over here and you have your mind over here and you have the you in the middle. Everything needs to come together and it needs to be integrated as a whole. So instead of focusing on something that is just a void, focus on what you can create and cultivate. Your purpose right now is to heal. Come together with your mind, body, and spirit. Come to terms with whatever it is that you need to. Your overall card is you are being called. This is telling you that now is the time for you to organize and prioritize as my messages came through earlier. This is a time for you to step up to the plate, care for yourself. This is the carousel card. Self-love is the card that overall tells you that by taking care of your mental health, taking care of your heart, taking care of your history, your soul ancestry, you have a whole team around you that is here to love you, to guide you. So there is no reason for you to feel less than. This is a reminder to you today to stay in a higher vibration, to stay in a space of knowing that love is with you. You are love. You are not lacking that relationship because you are fulfilled. Besides your past patterns and besides history, this is also telling you that you have your your soul lineage on one side of you and you have your guardian angel on the other side of you. You are protected, you are being guided, so you have the energies of protection, of a guardianship. Heal, love. If you need to cry it out, cry it out. Do that brownie binge and make those brownies and have that Hallmark movie. Do it. Do whatever makes you happy and after you come out of that, you're gonna find yourself warm in the arms of someone who truly loves you, who truly values you who truly appreciates you. And you will recognize that person as soon as you come out of this because you have not been able to recognize true anything because you've been in a relationship with the void. It is time to come out of those relationships and come and connect with the people who truly do love you and add to your life. My name is Eric and that dear one is my message for you today. To schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, I invite you to visit my profile. I am here for you. Until tomorrow, dear one, your heart is made for loving and your light is meant for shining. You are here to love and to shine and I'm here for you. I'm cheering you on.